The following program is underwritten by the Nevada Irrigation District. Since 1921, providing clean and healthy drinking and irrigation water to more than 24,000 homes, farms, schools, and businesses in Nevada and Placer counties. Lou Sitzer and this is Nevada County Television Interviews, NCTV Interviews. Thanks for watching. It's an exciting time uh, of year, this time of year, for uh, lots of reasons, but particularly it's the time for the United Way of Nevada County kickoff. And we have with us today Megan Timpany, the new Executive Director uh, of United Way of Nevada County. And uh, we're going to be learning about what United Way does here and uh, all about the kickoff. So first tell us, Megan, if you would, a little bit about when Nevada County's chapter of United Way started up and how did that get going? Okay. Um, actually, this is the 26th year for United Way of Nevada County. Last year, um, we celebrated the 25th year. I wasn't here at that time, but I know there was a lot of celebration about that. And um, back in 1982, um, several people in the community decided they wanted to start a chapter of United Way. And actually, I um, found an article that was written in 1982 about the, the first United Way campaign. Um, and it looks like we had Ray Shine and Charlie Brock quoted in here. And so they were part of the very mm. initial pieces of um, United Way of Nevada County. And it looks like for their first campaign, they raised more than $54,000. So that's really exciting that they were able to do that. Um, and they had several businesses involved with them. It looks like Grass Valley Group was part of that um, in the county. So that was what happened 26 years ago now. And it's gone through all kinds of ebb and flow and um, been in different locations. And um, now here we are today. <laughs> so we're, we're looking for flow. Yes. <laughs> As instead of ebb. And after 26 years, it's, uh, it's really a tradition and an institution that is well supported by the community uh, with 19 partner agencies. Mm -hmm. And you are the new executive director. So tell us a little bit about what an executive director does in Nevada County. Oh, wears lots of hats. <laughs> yeah. um, an executive director in Nevada County really has to play a lot of roles because we are such a small county and we have such a um, small staff. I, I am full-time, but I have two part-time staff, and that's it. And so there's a lot of different um, jobs that have come out of this. And um, the way that United Way works is that we have kind of a cycle that we go through. I've been through the first cycle of the um, United Way's cycles and that is the the allocation piece um, so when i first started which was almost i guess we're about at 10 months now um, the last campaign was just finishing up and we were um, getting ready to accept applications for allocations and so that's the piece that i've gone through an experience which was really incredible because what happened is I got to meet all these wonderful nonprofits. I got to learn about what they do in our community. Um, we engaged many different um, citizens from the community to um, be a part of our CRT teams which is, stands for citizen review teams and um, we wrote up our applications. So it, that, that was really what I've been through is that whole part of that, accepting applications, going back and auditing them, looking at their finances. And mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of a nice time for me to come in to it and really get to learn about the partner mm -hmm. agencies in our community. And um, so that's kind of the first mm -hmm. part of the cycle. 
The, the phrase that comes to mind, which United Way is famous for, is due diligence. And it took me a while to understand what that is. It's actually doing the investigations, uh, the looking into each applicant to make sure that they do what they say they do and that they handle their books properly and that they are fully accountable to both United Way and the community as to what their uh, projects are and, and how they handle their organization. Right, right. Yeah. And um, the process was quite interesting, um, and really I can see why it's so important. I can see why it's important to be able to look at their finances. I can see why it's important to look at their programs and make sure that they're accountable for what we're giving them money to do. So um, it, it was really an interesting process. We had, let's see, we had six teams that had, I think we had about 35 um, citizen reviewers that went in and looked at all the different programs. And then we took the piece, um, the financial piece out, and we had a finance group that reviewed all of that. So it was quite interesting, and it makes me feel good about who we are giving money to. You know, I don't want to mm -hmm. just give it to a nonprofit that can't show us that they're actually doing the work in the community. Right, and your work, uh, we should look at the mission statement at some point, but your work actually focuses on um, human... Health, uh, health and human services. Health and human services mm -hmm. as opposed to you're not working with uh, animals, you're not working in the arts, you really are focusing on health and human services. And we can look at the uh, mission statement here and uh, see that it is to improve lives by directing community resources to community needs. And perhaps you could continue with that and let us know about the uh, four areas of impact that you... Okay, yes, they, we do have four areas that um, we have chosen to have impact on in Nevada County, and it seems like these are the four areas that we really found that there is needs for. Um, they are supporting youth development and st strengthening families in Nevada County maintaining self-sufficiency and independence for seniors and the disabled in Nevada County, uh, resolving life-threatening crisis, such as housing, nutrition, domestic violence in Nevada County, and encouraging a drug-free Nevada County through education, substance abuse prevention, or intervention in Nevada County. So if you were to look at our 19 partner agencies, you would see that they, um, have, they have qualified under one of these. So when they applied, that, that's what they needed to apply to is to one of those areas and really um, show us how those areas um, have been one of those areas is affected by their agency right and each year you sort of uh, define the needs of the community and fashion um, goals in terms of you know you have the four the four areas of impact you review that statement periodically to see if you if that needs to be changed right right and actually um, one of the things that was done a couple of years ago was a CAP um, report. And in that CAP report, um, what that, that's a community assessment project report. And through that, they were able to determine some of the needs of the county. And um, that is actually something that's very important in our county is to determine, you know, what do we need here? And these are four areas that we right. have determined that we do need here. Um, so yes, that's how it, it's come about. So one of the things that happens is, you know, you read the newspaper and you understand that there are, there's this need and that there are lots of needs that are brought up by the community, but you actually look at those needs and assess the greatest needs where right. your allocations, where the money distributed has the, the most impact, the most right. benefit. Right. I mean, we can look at um, some of these. I mean, one of them right here that I'm looking at is resolving life-threatening crisis. Um, we allocated $20,000 to Food Bank, which is one of our partner agencies. The Food Bank is an incredible agency, and um, they need that. People go to their door looking for food. And so in, in crisis, this is something that they can do. Um, with the money that we um, were able to allocate to the Food Bank, they could go out and buy f appropriate food for children that were in need of food because with children it's very important to have specific nutritional values met or nutrition met and so you can see where that connection is that you know we've got the the food bank we have this particular area that we want to make impact in and that's how we do it is by identifying which one of our partners fits into these areas and if they are making some kind of an impact in our community right so, 
kind of how it all works. <laughs> yeah, and and it, it it occurs to me that uh, that you know you not only assess the needs. But people might say, well, you know, I understand the food bank does a good job, so I'll give some money to the food bank. Right. So, but, but United Way fills a particular niche in the community for various reasons. You know, payroll deduction is one of them. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you could elaborate on why United Way needs to exist in a community, or ought to it exist. Okay. Um, well, first, let me just give you a little bit of my background. I moved here from Sonoma County, and... Um, in Sonoma County, there's a very large United Way, and I actually was working for one of the nonprofits that did receive money from that United Way. And um, what happens with United Way, and I saw this kind of in a larger scale in Sonoma County, is that a lot of people give to United Way, and so that money comes together as a larger pot and ends up at the different nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And United Way makes it easy for people to give. You can give $1, you can give $5 through your payroll deduction every month or twice a month versus going out and writing a check for, you know, $100 for one year. And um, when I moved to this county, I saw a real need. I see that there really needs to be a United Way here because there's a lot of money that comes into this county through United Way from people that may not even live here. And if we were to let go of United Way, that money may just dissolve and go to some other United Way. Um, it wouldn't be coming here. Uh, and, I, you know, I really seriously was surprised to see how much money comes to United Way from outside of our county. I think what it is is maybe relatives of people that live here, people maybe that had lived here in the past. Um, so that, to me, was a really neat thing to see that. That's just one reason, you know, why I think it's important for us to continue and exist here. Another reason I think that it's um, important is because we do do diligence. We do check these partner agencies out. I, again, was on the other side of that when I lived in Sonoma County. I was there at this nonprofit waiting for our United Way visit <laughs> to come in and look at our programs and really scrutinize what's going on. And... So you know that your money that's going to United Way is going to a good cause. It's going to, a, not that there's a, other places that aren't good causes, but going to a place that really has um, showed that they have programs that are together, they have good financial books, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's one reason I think United Way is a really great place for people to give to, because you know the money's going to a good place. And a lot of your, uh, what you do is powered by volunteers. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have a very active board. What about 16? We have 16, 16 board members. 16 board yeah. members and yeah. many other volunteers that compose the, the review teams. So it's really dependent. The success of United Way is not only dependent on you and two half-time employees, right. but a, a host of volunteers that help support the organization. Oh, yeah. And then we have our campaign, which we will talk about later. But for the campaign, we have all these wonderful um, volunteers that are in the workplace giving they're, they're the campaign chairs for each of these employees, and they're all volunteers. And it's, it's great. It's great. I mean, we so probably a lot have of like 100 volunteers if I was just mm -hmm. to name mm -hmm. off who, currently who mm -hmm. we have volunteering. And often these are working through businesses, mm -hmm. car larger corporations like, um, you know, UPS uh, or the county right. who, uh, who have an active um, commitment to the community and do, uh, and do a payroll deduction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah actually... Um, that's another piece that is really important about United Way is that there is a that United Way has a system that's already in place for many corporations. So what I'm finding is that, um, say, Bank of America or Wells Fargo or AT and T or UPS, they already have the system in place corporate wide for their employees to be able to give to United Way, and so that makes it really easy for people to give. I mean, I just did a presentation at um, AT&T last week, and we sat and we talked about United Way. We talked about all the partner agencies, and they had already in their hand something that the corporate had given them to fill out to take payroll deductions out for next year. So it's a really great piece right. of United Way. Well, I know you brought some photographs in to <laughs> sort of illustrate what uh, United Way is up to and how the campaign will work. So let's take a look at them, and we can talk about United Way as we breeze through them. Okay. And these pictures actually are just a couple of events that we have done. Um, 
in the last few months. This one here is at Kane's Restaurant, and we um, did a penny pitch, which was great um, and very fun. This is um, one of this was one of our younger penny pitchers. She actually made her own shirt, <laughs> her Live United shirt. Um, and she actually was very close to being on the winning team. <laughs> she did a great job at, at penny pitching. There I am um, showing people how to do the penny pitch. <laughs> it, it was fun, and I actually had never done a penny pitch before, so I learned as I went. Um, some volunteers came to me and said, we'd like to bring this idea to um, a fundraiser for United Way. It's something that they do in San Francisco that's been going on for years. So, so hopefully this will be an annual event. Yes. Well, we're, look, we're already going to plan for next year. We we're talking about when our next meeting is. So. <laughs> this, is some, um, this is one of the teams that was at the Penny Pitch. <laughs> I think that's Bon Bon Saloon, the, all those girls in black. And um, they were very excited. They had a great time. <laughs> oh, and then this was the winning team. This was um, Neil Albee's team from Sierra College. And they won. So <laughs> that's what the big trophy is. So there. is this a rotating trophy or do they get to keep it permanently? <laughs> I think we're going to rotate that trophy. Yeah. That's a big trophy there. Yeah, right. So this was a wonderful event and we made um, quite a bit of money. Um, I think there's a check that's going to come up pretty yes, soon. Yes, there's a very big check. <laughs> there it is. Um, and you can see there's John Kane and there's myself. I think that's Howard Levine, also from the um, Grass Valley Downtown Association. They presented us with a big check, and I think it's thirty-four hundred dollars. Thirty-two. Thirty-two hundred dollars, yeah. and um, it was just a really fun event. And it's, it was a new event last year, and I hope to continue doing it. And maybe we'll double our intake next year. So mm -hmm. it was fun. It was a really community-oriented. Okay. <laughs> this was this is great because it talks about what's going on with our kickoff event. It does. You're right. So this is. Um, we had the barbecue battle of the sexes that took place last month, and uh, we had, I believe, eight teams. And this was one of the winning teams. This was the male winning team. And what happens is we then take the male. The, this looks like is this the female team. This is the female winning team. Uh -huh. um, she devils. The she devils. <laughs> so the she devils and the. Um, those barbecue guys, which you just saw on the last screen, are the two winners of the last barbecue, and they will be at our event, which takes place next Thursday. Again competing. Again competing for the, the crown. For and the women did prevail last year, I remember. They did prevail yeah. last year, yes. <laughs> and they want to prevail again. They, yeah. We've had lots of emails well, about that. <laughs> they, they did a great, uh, it was a, um, I think some kind of uh, Asian spare rib. It was yeah. really wonderful. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. had actually they had ribs at the last event. Yeah. This is just one of our other teams, um, but as you can see, everybody got involved. This is Penn Valley Rotary, I think, or Penn Valley. It was a Penn Valley team that got involved. Rodea, um, yeah. So it was it was fun. It was in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn Express this year. Um, our kickoff is going to be combined with our cookoff, and we also will be having a partners fair. And so we're doing all that also again at the Holiday Inn Express, and it's next week on September 18th, um, which is next Thursday. And this is some of my board members wearing their Live United t-shirts, which I'm hoping people are going to start to see around in the community because that is our new campaign logo is Live United. So Well, I'm, I'm still it. waiting for my t-shirt, and I'm, I know <laughs> it will be delivered soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Live United is a new theme and uh I think it's a great theme for us at this particular time in our nation, not just our community, oh, yeah. you know. It's yeah. the time to really gather uh, ourselves up uh, as a country. But let's not get into that. Here's uh here's uh the the idea of the kickoff. It is um the Holiday Inn graciously donates space right. for this to happen and right. um it is just a two-hour event, and it's a great dinner. Uh, bring the family. Uh, uh, there is a... Well, it's not actually a dinner. Okay. <laughs> well, it could be it, a dinner. It is. A, you, you it, basically, it, what you do is you do a tasting, and then you get to judge who you right. think um, would be the winners. It could be if yeah. you like to just have meat for dinner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also at the event, we're going to have a lot of information about our partners. So if people are interested in hearing about our partner agencies, I'm... Um, hoping to have several tables out with representatives from the different agencies so that they can talk to 
um, the public about what they do in this community. Um, and we're going to have it outside in the back patio and then we're also inviting people that have been involved in the past to a kickoff event which um, that kickoff event really is the start of our 2008 campaign um, which we can talk about now if you would like. Or sure, <laughs> I would. I'd okay. like to find out uh, what you anticipate, what goals you've set and uh, how you see you know, how a campaign runs for people who don't normally see that. Okay. Well, first of all, um, we've talked a little bit about what the um, kind of, I don't want to say marketing, but kind of what our theme is this year. It's Live United. And so ideally, we're going to be presenting um, that idea. We're going to present to reach out a hand to one and influence the condition of all and to Live United to give, advocate, and volunteer. Um, and so Basically, um, at the kickoff, that will be the start of when we start our campaign. And what happens in a campaign is that um, many different businesses around the county will start to um, do their own events and encourage their employees to um, get involved with United Way, um, either by giving through payroll deduction, by volunteering, by advocating. And um, we actually are a little bit ahead of schedule. I've already started a few of those um, things going on. I've visited with AT&T, as I was saying earlier, and done a presentation there. I've done some work at, with B and C. Um, we're getting ready to do one for Comcast. Um, so really, it's a, oh, and the, and the county, which is a very big participator, um, county, Nevada County, um, they're planning a whole month of events that they're going to be doing. Um, they're going to have a Halloween costume contest. They're, we're going to be giving apples out to them. We're going to be doing, a, um, I think, a chili cook-off or potato bake. We're going to have a book fair. So um, there's all kinds of events that will be going on to encourage awareness about United Way. And so that's kind of the start of the campaign. And the idea is to encourage people to do payroll deductions for next year. So they can sign up and do a payroll deduction where they can get a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars taken out of their paycheck. And then their business would just then um, generate a check that would then come to United Way. So and many businesses are willing to match. Oh yes, they which definitely Which is a great, are. great advantage yeah. to United Way and to the givers because they can double their their donation. Right. And, and actually Tricontinent, which is, um, I just had a board meeting this morning and Tricontinent is one of those that um, is encouraging their employees to give and will be matching. So it's a very, it's really a great way to give back to the community. Right. And you can give with designations. Oh, yes. So you, maybe talk about. Right. Um, you can give just to Nevada, United Way of Nevada County or on your designation sheet you can um, say I'd like it to go to one of our partner agencies or not even that. You can put down any agency really. Um, so for instance last year we gave out $100,000 to our partner agencies. So we did allocations of $100,000. That was a pot of money that we had collected from um, the community through payroll deductions and other ways. Then we also did designations that were to specific agencies and I believe we were about 25,000 that just went to those specific agencies. Some of those agencies were our partner agencies, some of those agencies were actually agencies that weren't partners of United Way. Right. So there's lots of different ways to give back to the community through United Way. <laughs> Great. And uh, I think uh, you also brought in a video. Maybe we have a chance to look at that. Yeah, and that video that I brought in um, is really something that we're hoping to kind of get going with um, our whole promotion of United Way. It's a video that um, United Way of America has put together, and we um, will want it to be more um, community-centered, so we're, you can take a look at it and you'll see what it is, and hopefully we'll get to play it some more on NCTV. Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united.
So, so that, that's our video, and I guess really my um, main push right now is to encourage businesses to host a campaign. It would be really great if we could get some more new businesses involved um, with United Way of Nevada County that would be interested in having me or one of our partners come on down, talk to them about United Way, and encourage their employees to do um, payroll deductions. I mean, you know, if you have 100 employees and they each gave a dollar a month, I mean, that could just have an impact right there. Right. So, Yeah, a little bit adds up. Yeah, it right. does. Uh, now, do you have a particular financial goal for the year's campaign? Well, I, yes, I would love to get to 300,000. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but that would be wonderful if we could. Um, we were at 250, oh no, 220 last year, so it's kind of an ambitious goal, especially with the economy the way mm -hmm. it is. But, you know, I think this county yeah. can come together and do it. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough year, but it's also a good year for giving. Yes, it is right. a great year for giving. Well, I want to talk about one more opportunity to give, and that is the Day of Giving Telethon that NCTV hosts each November. This, this year it will be November 1st, Saturday. It uh, usually runs 12 hours of live TV from uh, 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening, and we haven't firmed up the times yet, but it'll be an exciting day. We depend on volunteers, as does United Way. So if you are interested in helping out, we provide uh, support for over 30 nonprofit organizations locally, many of which are under the United Way umbrella. And so we really want to encourage our viewers to get involved. Come down if you haven't experienced uh, live television and what a production circus that day will be. <laughs> Your help is really needed and um, wanted. So we'd love to have you come by and help us out. And I want to thank today the volunteers who are already here helping us. Uh, I want to thank uh, Casey and Jasmine uh, and Stephanie, who are uh, part of the ROP high school class uh, that meets here daily. And I want to thank Marilyn Blom and Gail Woodman and Michael Lamarca, our director uh, of the TV station, and Bill Carquest, our engineer. It's a, it's a great crew, and we have a lot of fun here, and we hope that, that we provide a community service that you'll continue to support. And United Way would like to thank Lou. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so be sure to tune in. Uh, and um, thanks again for watching, and, uh, and tune in again next week. Thanks a lot.